all my things is in the flat. So they threatened me, if I don't go, they're gonna burn me and my kids. They poured the petrol through the gate. And now they are calling us a syndicate. We are not going into places evicting people. They said we will stay there over their dead bodies. This people is more than capable of killing anyone. Nobody evicted her, nobody did anything. So the, this allegation that we are busy evicting people, we've never ever gone into a unit where there is people. So when I opened the gate and all of them just bashed, they even pushed me, then I fell. They just bashed in the house. Then my sister phoned the police. My mother even came down. We phoned the police. The police came. Uh, we explained them the situation. They told us it's a civil matter. They can't help me. They don't want other people to move in. They want like their kids or their family members to move in. And then I went back home to the place. And then when I came there, this lady's furniture was in the house. And then they'll say like, okay, no, this is her place. Like that night with me, they said, this is Ruth's place. You know, my son actually told me, mommy, we can, we can rather stay in a shelter to fight like this. We can't live like this. This is why we established, established this whole thing, so that people within the community actually get the places. They're not people that come out from other places. There's more than 10 people staying in the one place. You understand? So you with your children, your mother, your father, so many people. So that's the people that we are giving units to. Yeah. We, we, we're not here to become criminals. That's exactly why we, with this project, knowing that the police will not get involved because we never get violent. We never do anything criminally. They use, they use intimidation, they use harassment. Um, they, they break you down emotionally, psychologically to an extent where you just cannot take it anymore. They, 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 they would damage your vehicle. They would, they, would, they would sit in front of your flat. They would, they would use the youngsters in the area that are, that are smoking drugs to, to, to go and, and, and to, to, to throw bricks through your windows and, and stuff like that. They, they just make it unlivable, unbearable for you to continue living. They, they, they told the captain plainly that this is not going to happen. They will show the police that we will not stay there. It, it, was, it was the most dreadful, the most horrible, I've never gone to anything like that in my life. <laughs>